Hi there, I'm an Ultimate Iron Man. Sort of. I've divided the RuneScape map into 18 regions, all with their own custom-built task system. These tasks provide rewards to me, such as XP and supplies. Every week, I will randomly select one of these regions and I'll be locked to it for 9 hours. Once up, my inventory and ward equipment will be wiped. My bank will be operating on a store-only basis, which means I can never take items out of it. I have compiled a list of RuneScape bosses and the goal of this series is to kill all of them at least once. With every boss killed for the first time, I'm awarded either the choice of an additional region every week or the ability to carry over one inventory slot every single week. Lastly, all of this content will be streamed live at twitch.tv forward slash MrFrogRS, so be sure to join in. If you need any more information, make sure you check out the description, or just leave a comment. Without further ado, I bring you... Regional Rumble! Right, let's go ahead and spin ourselves three new regions. Let's go. Well, I mean, not really what I was looking for. But with those regions, that is going to be us wrapped up for this week. I don't hate it. I just... Meh. We'll see. Hello and welcome to another episode of Regional Rumble. Once again, we are in Asgarnia. We also have ourselves Mauritania and the Feldips, if I remember rightly. Um, I'm going to spend most of the time in Asgarnia. I know I spent a lot of time in Asgarnia last week, but to be quite honest, it is the most useful region at the moment. Mauritania has some things that I'd like to use, um, but... Uh, Feldips is kind of useless on its own. I don't have the agility level to do Salo and the Twisted, which would have given us a boss kill. Uh, and unfortunately, obviously, I don't have the level, so it's not really much use for that. I don't have the magic level to get into the Wizards Guild. Not that that really helps anyway, because I do actually have a rune shop both at Pest Control and uh, Betty's down here. So, Feldips doesn't really offer me anything. Not that I can think of. Maybe I think of something a bit later on. Maybe. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's where we are for now. So, we carried over these six items, as I said in the last episode. Just going to go ahead and quit these before we start off. This is what we have. I'm probably going to spend a lot of time this episode doing pest control. And I think that is about all I've got to cover. I'm just going to quickly get my timer up because apparently I'm disorganized and I haven't done that yet. Right, got it up. There we go. Start the timer. We'll get going. We'll get running. And I'll talk about a few things that I want to work on. So the first thing is obviously pest control. I want to do a lot of pest control, but I'm going to try and do it whenever there's people there. Because last week I found that there were certain times where pest control was just completely dead. And I kind of need to play around that. I can't be prioritizing other things um, because obviously when pest control is dead, I'm not able to do it. So if I get everything else done and then I go to PC and there's no one there, I'm then stuck on what I need to do. So I'm going to go pest control. If it's dead now, then we'll try and do something else and we'll come back later. Like I said, I'm just going to try and work around when, there's, when it's actually active. Uh, another thing I wanted to say is we did do the Slayer task last week and I said that I'd be annoyed if I didn't get it done. Well, we got to here again anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered, which kind of annoyed me a little bit. However, we do have access to um, Canifus, so we can go to Maskana and that will allow us to get another Slayer task if we wanted to. I'm not too desperate to rush that right now. I don't think it's incredibly important. So I'm not going to worry too much. Uh, I was also considering maybe trying to train to 55 magic this week. We do have rune shops and I am going to make some money that I don't have anything to spend on right now. I may do uh, later on in the episode because I might do some more construction this week. I'll move my house back to Remington and we'll do it like that. Uh, because then we could possibly get the uh, costume room. Uh, we get like 45, I think it's 46 for the the armor case but if we can manage to get that then that allows us to store void armor as well which obviously if we can get the full set of void would be absolutely amazing uh, but we are going to need a lot of money for that uh, so that's why i want to do pest control anyway so we're going to go over to the pest control world i'm going to grind out a bunch of this depending on how active it is will depend on how long i do it for but i'll see you guys once i've done hopefully a large chunk of pest control games let's go 63 attack very nice 
And another attack level at level 64. Okay then, just a few things to put into this clip. We are starting what should be our final game of pest control, assuming we don't fail it and uh, actually manage to keep up this bar here, which by the way, just want to comment on this before I get onto the rest of this clip. Why on earth does this exist? It's so bad, it's so annoying. <laughs> like, basically, the way this now works is that I have to consistently be attacking something and it's usually not something that's useful. In fact, hitting the portal seems to actually be worse than hitting a splatter, which of before, like prior, uh, prior to this, I would have said was just griefing, killing these things because they just start damaging people like that. I mean, it didn't actually hit him. But like back in the day, killing splatters was just griefing. And nowadays, they're the easiest things to hit to keep this bar up. And I feel like I'm spending most, if not all, of my games trying to keep this bar away from the bottom. Because as you can see, I don't really hit much on the portals. So I end up having to hit like a shifter or something nearby. Or maybe a defiler. Just anything I can hit. Because at the moment, I'm not getting anything. Right? So now, I'm not even contributing. Now, I'm not saying that I'm doing a lot. I'm not saying that I'm valuable to this team. But what I am saying is this doesn't really make any sense. Any, if anything, this bar is just encouraging me to not contribute, which obviously I want to do. There was one round where it was just before the system update and we had to get it done. We actually managed to finish it with like 20 seconds left. So in that round, I was desperately trying to get all the portals down. I'd hit every single portal, you know, I ran to all the portals, took out all the spinners and everything, only to realize that by the end of it, I actually didn't have any zeal. So I didn't get any points because I hadn't hit enough splatters or defilers or something. Like, what is this logic? Why is this in the game? I, I know why it's in the game. It's to counter bots, but it doesn't counter bots because all they do is sit there at AFK. And I'm sorry, I know this has become like a massive rant now, uh, but I just want to talk about that as we finish our final game. That is going to finish off. There we go. And completed. So if we click continue, we now have 850 Void Knight Combination points, which is is enough to get a full set of void now like i said i'm not gonna be buying it right now i'm also not entirely sure which set i'm well which helmet i'm gonna get i think i might get the melee but the range is also really tempting i can tell you now i'm not getting the mage hat for a while uh that will be quite far in the future obviously we will come back here to do some more pest control in the future so that we can get ourselves uh the other helmets at some point but obviously i'm not buying it yet because i have nowhere to put it which leads me on to the next point that we're going to do and that is to train some more construction just a little bit just enough so that we can unlock the costume room uh, we've got the money for it we've got 84k we gained from doing pest control uh, this week which is pretty nice i did start in the novice boat and then moved over to the uh, intermediate i kind of forgot that these boats existed i'm so glad i did though because an extra point per game makes a big big difference I also want to mention on top of this, uh, I completely forgot to say earlier on, I did add the XP in between episodes. And that is 50,000 smithing XP, which took us up to 54 from level 50, I think it was. And then 50,000 fletching XP, which gave us two levels from 60 to 62. So there's a little dent in those skills. Very nice. Um, once we get onto the hard task, we start getting 500k XP rewards, which is going to be huge. Which also reminds me, the Void Knight set is a hard task. And I could claim it now, but then I would be stuck with the items, like I said. So we're going to put that off for a bit. Um, just gonna have a quick look at the shop and you'll see there we go we can buy all of them um, so the next thing I actually want to do obviously is work in construction which means going back to Puro Puro for a bit uh, we're gonna need enough to get us to 42 construction so we can build the room we I don't I think I did the calculations and we're not gonna have enough time uh, in this episode especially if I'm standing around doing nothing um, to get 45 which would be to build the actual um, like whatever you call it, the, the armor case, I think it's called, where you put the void. But that's totally okay, because the main reason we needed the money was to buy the room, which is 50k, and all we need for that is 42. So I think for now, I'm just going to go for 42 uh, construction. And then once we've done that, I can buy myself the room. That will leave us with 34k coins, which should be plenty for the rest of the episode, which I do want to spend on doing a few other things. One of them being um, to get out of a Slayer task, because we do have Mauritania unlocked, so we can go to Maskna and get ourselves a Slayer task from him. And if it's a Slayer task that we can do, uh, I'm probably going to do it. And I think what I might do is I might use magic to do it, because we're going to have ourselves like 35k or whatever, 34k I think it is. 
um, of coins. So, and we've got a rune shop right next to me here in Betty's Emporium, and there's also one on Pest Control as well. So we can buy runes, and the reason I want to do that is because if we can get one more magic level, we can use high level alchemy. And it's it's feeling like really frustrating to be so close to high alk and not be able to use it. So I think that is my, my game plan right now. Go Puro Puro, get some planks, get enough for 42, we'll get 42 construction, and then we'll move on to magic. But I've just spent the last, like, five hours doing pest control, so it's nice to finally move on to something else. Ooh, now that is an interesting drop. With a battle staff, I can actually auto-cast to train magic. Nice! I'm going to keep hold of that. Right, so we sold off a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to be heading back to Puro Puro now, but we've got 118k. Let's find ourselves a crop circle and get back to it. Oh, 52 Hunter, nice. Wasn't even paying attention. I was actually keeping the recorder on so that I could get the uh, Oak Planks on video. We're not going to get it though, are we? There we go, Oak Planks, nice. I'll catch one more for luck. Or not. Okay, you know what? You don't even deserve to be caught now. I'm leaving you here. Right, we are done. Uh, you, yeah, you can stop now, mate. We are done with uh, Piro Piro. 122 Planks. I need to get 42 construction. We have 124. We have an hour and 21 minutes left, which is, should be plenty of time to use up these Planks. It's not that many. I'm going to go and sell off all of the stuff that I've got. And uh, we'll go and get the 42 construction. We'll buy ourselves the costume room, which will take off 50k from this cash stack, which is pretty large considering we've been selling stuff. Um, yeah, so that's uh, looking pretty good. With a medium clue scroll, I didn't even realize I had that. I might check and see if I can do it. Doubtful. But, you know, it could be fun to try and mix that in. After this, I want to go over to Canaphis and try and get a Slayer task. Other than that, we haven't got much time left, so I don't really know what else I'm going to try and fit in. So apparently we can do this one. That is the Squire in Falador. We'll go ahead and do that step. I don't expect to complete the clue scroll, but we might as well take a look. It has just occurred to me that I didn't actually store my stuff back in Pest Control. Um, not Pest Control, Puro Puro. So I'm going to have to go ahead and do that in a moment, but... Let's see, where is the squire? Give me the clue scroll. Oh, he's going to give me the riddle thingy. What is it? With the genius power of editing, I suddenly know the answer. Or at least, apparently, it's 654. There we go. Can we do the next clue? Probably not. Caroline. No, that is Ardy. Didums. What a shame. All right, so I was training construction by building random things, and I figured with the 130k that we got on us, and... Not much need for it. We're going to actually buy some of these rooms. So. I don't know why it says I can do this, because I can't. I guess the money-wise. Right, so we're going to go ahead, and we are actually going to build a quest hall first. And the reason I want to do this is because you can mount a glory in it. Uh, it's probably not going to be done for a while, but while I have the money, I might as well just utilize it rather than shoving it in the bank at the end of the episode. And then we're going to go ahead and build a study. And then we've got 55k left, which is 50k for the costume room, and then 5k left over for whatever else I spend it on. I was planning to do some magic, and I only have to buy fire runes, so we could do that as well. But I just wanted to get these rooms built, so that if we need them in the future, they're already built, and I don't have to worry about the money. I can always rotate the house around, it's not a big deal. I don't know what I need for these, but I'm just going to go around and build whatever requires just oak planks. And uh, we'll get ourselves some XP. Get 42 build the costume room, and then that'll be the biggest part of this episode done, because that's the main thing I wanted to get from this. And I nearly missed that. Well, that's going to be 42 construction with two planks left over. We can now build a costume room, which is the reason we did this, and a whole bunch of table, but table, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, yeah, I guess I could have built that. Oak wardrobe costume room. Hmm. Didn't think about that bit. I don't know what the wardrobe stores, but... Uh, let's go ahead and build a costume room. I really don't care where I put it right now, as long as we actually get it built. There we go, costume room, which is probably one of the biggest rooms on the account. Um, is it the wardrobe? This one? We need two more planks. We could build that. Kind of tempted to go back to Puro Puro. Do you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to go back. I'm going to get myself two more planks, and we're going to build that. I'm not even sure what goes in it, but I'm sure I can find something useful. All right, got ourselves some oak planks, a little bit more. We will exchange them. We're going to go ahead and build ourselves a wardrobe. Again, I don't actually know what goes into this one. These are the two that I always get confused about because I never know which one does what. But let's go ahead and build oak wardrobe. We can have a quick peek and see. We got... Okay, we got robes and stuff. I mean, that's not bad. 
I mean, not like we have any of this, but interesting. Oh, we can still graceful. Okay, this one's actually pretty big. Didn't think about this. Okay, so we can store graceful. So it is actually worthwhile to get graceful now. Admittedly, we'd have to store it piece by piece. And because we follow UAM rules, that means we can't take it out until the full set is done. Even though the game is not going to tell us that because obviously we're not actually a UAM. But we will be following that rule. So, I mean, we could slowly progress towards full graceful. Obviously not this week. Uh, 47 minutes left and we don't even have birth orb. So I'd have to carry over the marks of grace anyway. Which uh, has been a suggestion to save up marks of grace. I mean, now that we've got that, maybe I do. Maybe I do. I'm not actually entirely sure. I think what I'm going to do right now, though, is I'm going to head back up to Falador. We're going to sell off these couple of items that we got. I should probably should have used these last planks, but you know what? I really can't be bothered. So I'm going to sell off the rune dagger, sell off the diamond, get myself some runes, go to uh, Canifis, see what player tasks we get. If it is one we can do, I'm going to go and mage it. If it is not one we can do, I'm probably just going to go and use mage anyway on some random, maybe ghouls or something. I was going to trade agility. Really don't feel like it. I really just want to try and get this to 55 because it's annoying me not having high out. Once I get 55 magic, I'm not too bothered anymore. But sitting on 54 is just... It's just a bit of a tease, you know? So we're going to get all that stuff sorted and I'll head over to Cannabis. All right, Maskana. Assignment, please. 43 dogs. Woof, woof. We could do that, right? There's got to be some dogs that we could kill, surely. I'm going to look into killing dogs. Try to think which ones we got. Have a look. Okay, so I'm not sure if there's like any dogs that I can kill in the area, but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna use up these gold bars we got from Eclectics, and we're gonna just get some graphno XP by making some tiaras. I might as well siphon as much XP as I can out of this in the last 30 minutes. The dogs aren't gonna give me that much XP, and it's just a basic excuse to get some magic XP, really. So I just want to get as much as I can. I'll go ahead and make these into tiaras, get some more crafting XP, and then I'll try and figure out the dog situation. So remember that plan I had to train magic. Yeah, well, I feel like people watch the video by now. I've kind of realized uh, that's not happening. I um, I don't have any mind runes. I kind of, like, didn't acknowledge that the staff I've got doesn't give runes. And I'm thinking to myself, I have two runes and a staff. And that's normally how I would do magic. But obviously, the, it's just a regular battle staff. So it doesn't give any runes. I've got the elemental runes. I do not have any mind runes. So the only real way for me to do this is to get some more money. And go and buy some mind runes. This week has been very annoying. I'm just disappointed in myself, to be honest. Alright, we're going to try this again. We've got ourselves some money. We're going to buy mind runes. How many can we even get? Oh, it's better than nothing, I guess. 500 casts of fire strike. Can't believe how stupid I am, but... Anyway. Um... Honestly... Don't even know what to kill. I was going to go kill cows, but I feel like they're going to die stupidly fast. Mm. I just want to train magic. So, yeah, whatever. We're just going to go to the cow field. This just feels so, like, embarrassing to do this. But if we could just get some more magic XP, push us closer to 55. Maybe even get 55. I don't know. I've only got 16 minutes, so probably not. We'll see how much we can get done. Four, three, two. Gonna cast one more. There we go, that counts. I'm just gonna get out of combat. And that is the week over. We didn't actually get to do all of the runes. I mean, not that it mattered. I forgot to buy the runes anyway, but just a waste of runes, really. So, that is another week of regional rumble done. Accomplished some stuff. Uh, we got ourselves the costume room. We have the points for void when we do want to get around to doing it. Obviously, we do need to upgrade... Uh, our construction level a bit so we can build the armor case for uh, void itself um for next week sorry i'm just gonna quickly organize my inventory but next week we're gonna be carrying over the same six items which is the raw shark the rune scimitar the dragon med the red eyed body red eyed van braces spiky and the xeric talisman so that is the six items we are going to be carrying over but with all this uh, this week wrapped up we're gonna go ahead and roll ourselves three new regions All right. I mean, somewhat interesting. We've got some stuff that we can do. Definitely got stuff that we can do. So let's move on to another week of Regional Rumble.